Hi, I'm King Art 70. Today's topic is even guys who is rich can't hold a good gal. I really believe this. Instead, he let the woman go and start to talk with other women. So what I mean by a rich man or rich guy can't hold a good gal. Meaning a girl who admire him. All right. Now, a lot of girls or women doesn't really care about the guy money. All right. She just love him and respect him for who he is. Okay. She don't really care. She means she's loyalty. She's real with him. And she believed that they actually got something really going on. I know a true story and I can't get into it. I can't call her name. All right. But this actually happened to a person that I know. And what happened was the guy was, uh, had some money. He was successful. And she wanted to take it to another level, which is to say she wanted to take it to a, a deep exclusive relationship. But he wanted not to go into a deep relationship. He had kept telling her, no rush. No rush. I'll let you know when I'm ready to do it. But this been going on for about two or three years and he told her the same thing. And then find out the guy who actually was secretly uh, speaking with other women. He was speaking with a blonde that she told me in our private session that she wasn't into him, but the lady was only using him for attention or validation just to kill the time. But she wasn't into him. She didn't want him. All right. So I guess she saw some text messages in his text in his phone because she realized some thing was, you know, a little, suspicious but she went into the went into his phone which i don't really recommend any woman going to a man's phone even though if he's doing something uh you don't have the right to go into it if a man didn't tell you y'all are exclusive that you shouldn't be going through his phone all right so the thing was she was lost to him she was real she was sincere she didn't talk to other guys so what i was saying to this topic on this podcast you men what you men with rich I got money and you get, you don't know what a good thing you have until you really actually lost it or you don't care. And you start dating other women because you thinking, okay, if I go with another woman, she's not going to go into my phone. She's not going to do this. She's not going to do that. And this is what draws the main interest. Why? Because some women don't do that. All right. But this particular one did because what she did was she was actually Noticed that he was insecure at some time. And so what happened was he was shut down and he, he, he said a couple of things about like, well, I don't, I'm not sure of us. I'm not sure this go to work because I don't fully trust you. If you do have guys try to talk to you, I don't really trust our relationship no further than I can throw it. So basically telling you is, well, I don't really not sure about us. So, Hell, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start talking to other women behind your back without you knowing anything about it. And sure enough, he did. So she found out, she flipped out, and she didn't like it. So basically, she began to start telling him that guys would try to talk to her just to see um, how he react. Okay? So what happened was, when she told him that, he flipped out. He couldn't take it. Because, see... When he was doing it, it was okay. Usually when a man flip out, get upset because he's doing something that he had no business doing. So this lady was loyal to you, right? So even though these guys weren't really talking to her, she did it because she told me, I told him that because I was being, a, I was being manipulated. And I said, you got to be kidding me. And when I told her, I said, I can't believe what I'm hearing, but go on keep talking so i didn't want to interrupt her so and she said at least i'm being honest author and i said okay that's good you're being honest and i'm glad you're being honest about it okay but anyways guys those who have good women take care of those and my those good women i my those good gals because i'm not saying you can't find nobody better than she is but when you have a good woman who stick up for you and do things for you that normal woman won't, won't do for you you have yourself a good work a good girl Okay, you gotta you get yourself a good gal. All right, work with her. Sit down, talk to her, and tell her, look, look, come and sit on my lap. Let me tell you this. 
I don't regret being with you. I'm happy you're my woman. I don't worry about what people say about us. I don't care if guys try to talk to you, even if they did or didn't. I don't care. Why? Because you are what I want and I got you. And I'm glad that guys try to talk to you, but little that they know you minds. And I'm glad you minds. And this make me the luck luckiest man on the planet right now because I got a bad chick. I got a bad gal. Guys won't, but they can't have. So that's all he had to do. He could have took care of that situation right there on the spot. But by him being rich and his little fame, he's thinking that, well, let me go out and find somebody else instead of me working on a relationship. So don't go throw out a good woman just to go out with other women and monkey branch with other women and you leave a good woman behind and she did nothing but good for you all this time and you're going to treat her like trash. You go block the lady. You go ignore her phone call, block on email, and all that stuff. All right, that's not good. So I hope you women hear this podcast. Leave a like down in the video below, and let me know what you think about it. Bye.